-hmm. because when you put males and females in survival situations, or the closer they are to a survival situation, the quicker they're gonna revert to their gender roles. If you put a whole bunch of men and a whole bunch of women, you strand them on a desert island, the men would start having to build things and fight off the animals, and the women would start farming and whatever the women would do, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. so when, 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 when she hits the fan, everyone, go, everyone reverts to their natural gender roles. So, Andrew, can you tell us about toxic masculinity and what it is in your eyes? Does it exist? Is it a farce? Toxic masculinity. Because you're considered the king of toxic masculinity. Yeah, I, I've got that. I've got that title. Yeah. Toxic masculinity is a term that was invented by women nobody wants to f to describe <laughs> the men that the women do want. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> son, that, where'd you find that's this? That's all it is. That's all it is. No, but on, on a real level, right, this whole idea of being toxically masculine is complete garbage. And the reason it's garbage is because it's a first world problem first. Mm -hmm. Because when you put males and females in survival situations, or the closer they are to a survival situation, the quicker they're going to revert to their gender roles. If you put a whole bunch of men and a whole bunch of women, you strand them on a desert island, the men would start having to build things and fight off the animals, and the women would start farming and whatever the women would do, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah? So when when when, when hits the fan, everyone go, everyone reverts to their natural gender roles. Mm -hmm. So if you live in a country like Romania or Russia or a country that's poor, the closer it is to survival, the lower the economic prosperity of the country, the closer people are to their natural gender roles. So <laughs> Russian men are masculine, Russian females are feminine. Mm -hmm. But in America, it's the richest country in the world. It's a first world problem. All the women get to be stupid and the men get to be pussies because it's just a first world problem. This whole idea of being toxically masculine is absolutely garbage. Nobody's toxically, listen, you're not gonna call me toxically masculine if someone breaks in the house and I start spraying. No one's gonna start calling me toxically masculine. No, there was no one called toxically masculine when they were staying on the Titanic to die, right? The whole thing is garbage. And it's just by women who are bitter and jealous trying to insult and demonize men for being natural to their instinct. There's, I, I don't I want to rant too much. No, right? no, continue. I don't want to rant. Okay, let's go, they, they, let's they go, this. let's they go. Hear this. The world we live in today tries very, very hard to refuse a man his natural instincts as a man. Yep. And this is done on purpose. This is not done on accident. There's no war on men on accident. Men are the ones who start revolutions. If you look at any revolution in history, it was the men who were on the street and started that revolution. If you want to control a populace, the first thing you do is control the men. When you went, when the Romans went and conquered Sparta, they kill all the men, all the young boys, all the fighting age males. When you're left with nothing but females, you can conquer and control a society. We're living in a world right now where there's supposedly some virus and you have to stay in your house and put a mask on and everyone's complying like cowards. And the reason is, is because they've destroyed the masculine spirit in men. If you would have told men a hundred years ago, we're gonna take your business away, we're gonna bankrupt you and they're gonna lock you in your house, every single man would have stood up and said, what? Who are you? You yep. ain't listening to us. The people who are in charge of the world want to control the population. The easiest way to do that is to remove the warriors from the populace. Thanks. That's all it's about. So when men try and act in a masculine way, they're toxically masculine. Mm -hmm. They demonize us. And then another way they do is they try and shame us. Shame is another tactic. Oh, Andrew, when are you going to grow up and stop all that hot pussy? <laughs> grow up. Who hurt you? Yeah, who like, hurt you? Who yeah. hurt your feelings? I'm enjoying my life. Right? I'm enjoying my life. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and, and I enjoy the company. I'm not saying I can't be loyal if I have a girlfriend, of course. But also, if I'm single and I don't want to be loyal, I'm a full-grown man, I can make my own choices, right? Yep. Why yep. should I be demonized or shamed for that? But they don't want that. They want men. We are the backbone of every economy. Facts. They want us to be worker ants. They want us to be semi-depressed, with no fighting spirit to resist against the tyr tyr tyranny. They want us paying taxes as tax slaves in a sexless marriage with kids who don't respect us. No one talks about male depression. Nobody cares that the Facts. men are miserable. Nobody cares. As long as we pay our taxes and we don't divorce her because we're scared of losing the house and we continue to raise those kids and sit there while she refuses to give you a blowjob more than once a year, that's all the government wants from men. Yep. That's all they want from us. That's it. And that's why toxic masculine or toxic masculinity was coined. It was another weapon, a weapon against your natural instinct as a man to rebel. That's what it's all about. Oh, Andrew, when are you gonna grow up and stop all that hot pussy? Get thousands of hours of content not found anywhere on patreon.com slash Donovan Sharp. Link in description.